experience. So after you log into your PowerSchool Learning site and you open the class you want to edit, you come to the main page, you hit Add Content Block. So I'm going to do uh, Files. The name. At this point, I can choose where I want the block to be. So I'm going to say it. I want it in the top right here next. It can take some time, depending on their server. But here, if your Google Drive is attached to your account, you can or click here. You can log into your Google Drive and attach a file, or you can do upload a file. In this case, I'm going to upload a file from my computer. I'm going to choose this uh, high school calendar that I have from the school's website. Once it's there, I hit attach. It'll take a second to upload again, depending on how busy their servers are. Right, so once this is done, I can give it uh, additional information. So at this point, because I've made a mistake here, I can correct that. You can also go back in afterward and you can correct it. You know, once you made your corrections, you can bold or italics, whatever you want to do in here. And hit save. Or do it late evening, probably quicker early in the morning. So now you see, here's the block I had over here. Now, afterward, if I don't I decide ah, I don't like where this block is at, maybe I want it right here to uh, to show everybody. You can actually take this and drag it right over here and drop it, and then there it is. Or you say, ah, it still doesn't look right to me. I think I'm just going to put it back. There you go. It's done. So your files will show here. To click to download it, all you do is click on it and it'll download. And it gives you the name of the PDF, tells you what it is. Anyway, that's how you upload a PDF or add a document into PowerSchool Learning.